tirar el gato, tirar el gato, tirar el gato. Give a the first role apostolic missionaries. We are going to ordain these uh, people as apostolic missionaries. Let's give a round of applause to God. Uh, Four Square Gospel Church in Rwanda. Uh, it is on the fourth stage. Whereby you can send missionaries to go and they serve. These missionaries, if you name them to be apostles, it's good. if you name them missionaries, it's okay. But just get to know that messengers, they are the plants. They are people Jesus sends. They are not titles. These people, these are people who go to preach the gospel. They, be, they plant churches. If they don't plant a church, uh, they see what is available. Uh, they nurture small churches and they continue them and then they revive them. Let me give you only one advice. You're not called to sit. There's no apostle who sits. There's no missionary who settles. They are always on movement. And many among you are going to give this responsibility. We have seen it with their ability. If you move, please plant the churches of Christ. Do not build your kingdoms. Do not destroy churches that are in existence. Let me emphasize on this. Instead of training pastors, they look for pastors who are trained from elsewhere. I usually tell people, even neighbors, there is no one who can steal a maid from, from the neighbor. Your neighbor, if they take your maid, if you can manage, you can even shift. Uh, uh, the ones that are here. Instead of the fish to come, they rather go. There are so many people who are in this calling. They are only shadowing. If people come in the church, or because of the shadows that of people are in. There are some who tell you that if churches are like that, if to be a Christian is like that, if also Christians are corrupt, if Christians also fornicate, if, if, if you are not faithful, a shadow because we are not building our kingdoms we are building the kingdom of God so if you plant churches please be cautious with such it is the kingdom of God it's not about only bringing, bringing clientele it's not uh, bringing people from uh, churches to others it's rather to carry the light to the darkness uh, the servants of the Lord Jesus began the ministry with they have five things that are not going to go into death some of their hard workers in their responsibility about to give you if you are not a hard working person in the church that means that you are confusing the calling 
uh, fishermen work during the time and they work during the night time when we are asleep that's when they go in like Tanganyika. when we are waking up that's when they are selling what they have they are hard working so prophets Bishop Beatrice so, these are servants of the Lord we are waiting for them to arrive and we are so pleased to be with you I uh, feel at home and uh, this is father's home you may take back your seats let me request if we have other pastors who arrive later please I'm speaking those who are pastoring in Rwanda please if you are here yeah. we are pleased also to have different servants of the Lord from our neighboring countries uh, Pastor Olivier together with the wife wow. let's give a round of applause and celebrate the king because of them I'm not going to speak much about them. You can listen that many of the church members will know them to celebrate. We have been serving the Lord together with them for a couple of years. Uh, uh, two weeks ago, we had gone to ordain them in Burundi. Uh, they are doing a powerful and a tremendous job there in Burundi. This is his first time to come with the wife. And let me tell you this. They, they flew from Bujumbura today because, because yesterday they had a wedding at church so it was uh, for, it was good for them to fly to the so they come today. let's give a round of applause to God for them uh, I've seen Commissioner Sano Commissioner of Police. Uh, Commissioner of Police. With, with due respect, we are happy to have you. So other people who are not mentioned, we are still happy to be with you. The first thing that I had to do was that. So, and then the second, this is no more part of our services. Because uh, we have not seen the way to stop it. We have done it on Sunday. Uh, there are uh, couples, the couples that are planning to be but also members of church who were baptized so, yesterday uh, so uh, couples that are intend to be married please come forward and also church members who were baptized yesterday please get standard where you are people who were baptized yesterday and also those to be wedded and then uh, those who were baptized I can see them we are happy to have you in the house of the Lord let's give a round of applause to God for you this is, the, this is the only couple that we are going to introduce that is planning to for the holy matrimony hallelujah amazina yanjye banyita kaze patrick afiance wanjye bamwita munyana naomi dufite ubukwe kwa gatandatu buzabera hano saa saba hanyuma reception izabera rebero muri panorama abazabishobora bazaze twifatikanye muri byo byinshi murakoze murakoze thank you tubatwerere let's support them let's attend their wedding he who has a reason as to why may not do the holy matrimony the blessing of 
Abraham, the blessing of Isaac, the blessing of Jacob, and all the blessings we have in Jesus. Be with you as you prepare your weddings. Get back to your seats. I may speak, maybe I may give some highlights about Kazi, but whenever I'm in USA, uh, he is one of the people who takes leave to take care of me, for him to drive me. I'm thankful to the Lord for him. And the blessed is the wife that who is going to be married to him. Let's read the word of God as we are going to do the ceremony. But let me appreciate the service leader because you have used the time wisely. Uh, the, uh, we are still on track as we, we had planned. Let's open our Bibles and we read the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 30. Uh, we are taking our reading in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 30. He's going to use the Holy Bible. Let's continue. Let's continue our reading in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 12. Uh, Aba Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 12. Aba Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 12. Aba Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 to 12. Aba Ephesians Nabandi kuba ababwiriza butumwa bwiza nabandi kuba abungeri nabigishe kugira ngo abera batunganirizwe rwose gukora umurimo wo kugabura ibyimana no gukomeza umubiri wa Kristo kugeza ubwo twese tuzasohora kugira ubumwe bwo kwizera no kumenya umwana w'Imana kandi kugeza ubwo tuzasohora kuba abantu bashitse bageze ku rugero rushitse rw'igihagararo cha Kristo ndumva narekeraho ngaho let's conclude from there ndasoza gusoma kwanje mu gitabo cyo gutegeka kwa kabiri cyangwa Deuteronomy let's conclude our reading in the book of Deuteronomy mirongo 34 umurongo wa 9 gutegeka kwa kabiri igice cha 34 umurongo wa 9 haravuga ngo Yosuwa mwene nuni yari yuzu yumuka ugeni. Kuko mose yari yara murambitseho ibiganza. Avisira hiri baramu mvira. Bagenza uko uviteka ya tegece mose. Uh, Biragoye kufuga nyuma ya Bishop Kamanzi. It is quite difficult to speak after Bishop Kamanzi. Kuko amagambo meshi ya yavuze. Because he has mentioned a, a couple of words. Aliko biro roshe kuwela yuko no wundi zona likufuga nyuzo ya yavuze. But it's a, again a bit busy because what I had planned to speak is so what he has said. Kufuga kwa mwomeleza aho ya ragesi. Which means that I'm going to continue from where he stopped. Uh, mawa mahiru kwa yuko girango. Uh, I'm privileged to lead this ceremony of uh, ordaining people. And this is the greatest ceremony of the Church of Christ here on earth. This is the time whereby the Church has purpose to commission people as they expand the kingdom of God. Uh, uh, what I like about it that he, when it is the due time whether the members and the non-members of the church they all come together to support it. 
And what I do not like is that we support them only we celebrate the main day and we do not support them in the continuous day. In other countries they do not make this to be a big day. But after this day they continue to support people. And for us we only make this to be a special day. And we celebrate because of the responsibilities they have. But afterwards we do not join them. Now we, we, may, we have to understand to do the reverse. Jesus did the same work, the same ministry. Let me speak this basic in the verse. When Jesus called the fishermen, uh, when he had found them at the Sea of Gennesaret, he asked them to follow him. I will make you fishermen. I'm not going to go into depth of it. People were called in different ministries. There are five ministries that are equal, which are like the fingers of one hand. He gave some to be the apostles. He gave the others to be evangelists. He gave others to be the prophets. And then he gave others to be the teachers. And then the others he made them shepherds. All five ministries. There's no older, there's no one that is older than the other. And all these five ministries, they are responsibilities. They are not titles. There are responsibilities. The roles. There are roles. Not titles. But in our country and in the region that we are in, people know that an evangelist is younger than a, a, a pastor. A pastor is younger than the apostle or younger than the bishop. Bishop Bishop is younger than apostle. Uh, many ask me, bishop. That you are bishop? When are you going to be ordained to be an apostle? <laughs> when are you going to become an apostle? <laughs> Let me tell you this. There is no older, there is no older than a pastor. Let me repeat. There is no bigger role than a pastor. There is no bigger pastor than an evangelist. There is no elderly pastor than an evangelist. There is no an older person as a devil. There is no older person as an evangelist. Because all these five ministries, they are special. They are special and paramount. But one person can have five ministries. One person can have five ministries. You can be a pastor and be a prophet and you be an evangelist and you be a teacher. It depends on the role that you're serving in. Let this be clear. These are equal ministries. But which are different. He gave some to be and he gave the others to be. Not titles. If there was a person to lead the persons, that is the only title that is in the Holy Scriptures. The first book of Paul's author to Timothy. Chapter 3. If a person wants to be a deacon. Episcopy. The English version. General overseer. Uh, it means general overseer. And the French version. It says evêque in French. Some English versions they say bishop, which means that all these three general names overseer, general overseer, bishop, bishop or evêque in French, that's episcopal, or else 
They mean the same. This is a person, a team leader, when pastors are many. He is not above them. It's like you are all students and then you have a class monitor. That is the case. Is it clear? It's as if he may also be deputies and then there is a leader of the team for things to go smoothly. It is not a title a person has to serve and it is not a title that you have to go on to go People choose you to be a team leader. Where things have gone wrong is here. And then you said that you are going to become an apostle and you are not going to give the responsibilities. I, told, I tell people if you are a bishop and then the church has expanded and then you have many bishops. So the one who is above bishop is called archbishop. And then above the cardinals and then the Pope. But all the five ministries, they are equal. And these people, they are not powerful. The great is the one who said the king of kings. He is the one who has to be honored in the ministry. Uh, there is a responsibility that used to be there in uh, government. When we began to serve in government, some people are uh, cleaners. Janitors, I Jan think. Janitors, like literally. Jan janitors, something like that. Literally to be janitors. So, so the janitors. So these are the people who are messengers or the clerks who would send messages who would take letters and then they take them to the ministry. Either they come on foot or else they ride a bicycle. The one who gave us the message is the one who is great. We are only messengers. We are janitors so in his ministry. So be so humble. The word you are saying of being faithful. If you understand in this way. You get to know that you are a mere servant. It's not an issue of the title. And then sometimes maybe. The, the, the mindset of receiving a bigger title is an issue. And then they make a meeting and say now. Uh, it was really injustice. They did not give me a higher role. There is no younger or barrel or an older role who is faithful in the little that can be faithful to the but the king of kings the one we serve is one. Uh, the servants of the Lord Jesus began the ministry with they have five things that are not going to go into death some of their hard workers in the responsibility you are about to give you if you are not a hard working person in the church that means that you are confusing the calling. Uh, fishermen work during the time and they work during the night time. When we are asleep, that's when they go in like the When we are waking up, that's when they are selling what they have. They are hard working people. The second, they take the light to the darkness. They are carriers. They are light carriers. There is no place they have, they have fished during the time. 
only except in the time of Jesus. The rest of the places I know, they fish at night and in deep darkness. Which means you are called to go and speak to people who are not yet saved. It's not to preach people from the churches they are in. It's rather to carry the light in the darkness. The third thing they serve in unity togetherness they, are, they serve in unity or togetherness a teamwork assignment fishermen uh, maybe one or two are sailing the other one is uh, throwing the net the other one is carrying the lamp and then the other one has a can to empty the boat and they are the ones who are resting to make another shift go on everyone and do the responsibility they play a role concerning on how the cup of bread is but it's a teamwork that sometimes we give people the responsibilities and then they begin divisions among others we are going to be chasing them away and then they go where they can serve like that but I've seen that the government does not even bear with them where you are please create teamwork spirit people need to see teamwork spirit in church people are fed up with divisionism in the churches the fourth thing that characterizes them the high risk takers are uh, if there are people who work in danger risk zones are such people I saw it back when I was in Bujumbura so I was uh, I was residing in a hotel that is close to there so sometimes whenever I would go at the court I see the winds that are waving across the remember that in the, in, in, in the middle of the water there are crocodiles and so different uh, different uh, there are so many winds there are so many waves I, I, I was amazed by this ministry. before you get to the ministry you are a good person very kind but whenever you are in ministry, you have battles that you have never faced just because of the anointing that you have been ordained <laughs> only being ordained uh, now you used to be a good person a nice person and just because of the anointing you are going to face challenges for those who are going to be ordained for the second time they know it clearly but for those who are going to be ordained for the first time you are going to experience it it's not easy you are not going to be spoken about yet you used to be good people the fifth thing that is powerful than the rest the image that a fisherman portrays if you don't position yourself in the waters you chase away the fish instead of attracting them which means that you have to know how to position the lamp now if the, the lamp is not clear and only the flames and the shadows are uh, the ones that are clear instead of the fish to come they rather go there are so many people who are in this calling they are only shadowing if people come in the church or because of the shadows that of people are in there are some who tell you that if churches are like that if to be a Christian is like that if also Christians are corrupt if Christians also fornicate if, if, if you are not faithful a shadow when 
Four things before I called you. Chambere imana ni hamagara. The first God is the one who calls. Nu hamaga wena abantu bamuzi. Even if you are called and people who by people who know you. It is God who has positioned you to be called. Imana ni hamagara. God is the one who calls. If you are called by your brother or your uncle, just because you are so close to that person, they will not differentiate if it is them or God. But truly God is the, God is the one who calls people. But people confirms your calling. There's no single person I saw who was called with God that he never gave a person to train them. I've never seen I don't know the person in the Bible. Up to Moses, he went to be trained in Egypt. He spent 40 years being trained. When he fell to south, there came Jethro. And Jethro was not the Israelite. He came to tell Moses, What you are doing is not right. People will not lining up to wait for you. Choose people. You, still, you give them your spirit. And then you give them responsibility to live. Which means Jethro came to train Moses. There is no there is no there is no coincidences that happen. Who trained you? Let me give you a short testimony. Kamanzi bishop Kamanzi you see. What I'm saying it has so many witnesses. Some are here and I'm not going to mention their names. When we launched Four Square Church, after like five months when we were serving, uh, it was evident for them to set the leadership of Four Square. So in that meeting, uh, there was Bishop Kamanzi and also a few people were like nine. And then people were asking me to be the leader of the church. To be the representative of the church country level. I refused three times. He told me you have been selected. You cannot refuse it from here. Go and refuse it from home or after here. And even inquire from God. Uh, another man we are with from Burundi. Uh, he told me that I say no is only spoken by the foolish people. I, I, of course I was not feeling it. I felt that I, I, I felt that it was only people who were choosing me. From that day, uh, they set him to be my coach, my mentor. He began to mentor me daily. We spent five years reporting. I was reporting to him, telling him this is how the ministry is. After five years, when we are when you're having a meeting of eight countries that who are leading. For square, that's when I was elected to be the leader. Uh, and I served for five, a term of five years. He is among the people who trained me. But he, was, he did not have an issue for me to be a leader of him. The day I handed over to him, when he was, when he was overtaken, it also happened here. He is now not the leader. Now our leader is in Kenya. I'm now the vice president. It hasn't mean anything to me. To lead those who used to lead me. And also to be led by those that used to lead me. Because this is the kingdom of God. If they begin to tell you that you have been undermined. It is not our kingdoms. It is for the kingdom of God. 
Imana ni hamagara abantu ni bakonfirma umuhamagara. God calls people confirms the calling. Chagatatu. Third. Buri muyobozi. Every leader. Agira style ya leadership. Has their own style of leadership. Ngurabona ngoje sinemera ngo naruna. And then he said that I'm, I don't agree with so and so. The way he leads I do not understand. By the way, the moves um vakim ne mwe bi movies. You cannot come to the same agreement if you understand the same way. You cannot look it through the same way if you have Moses and Joshua. Moses and Joshua. They are leaders who followed each other. But, but if you see the leadership style is different. Moses was a, a diplomatic leader. To go and negotiate with those who were leading. Who used to humble themselves and sit down. And uh, Joshua was a commander. Only giving instructions. Moses. Moses. He would humble himself and listen to everyone. Joshua yumva giman and yumva gawan. And Josh Moses Moses Omusa abantu baza kumbira ngo tukene yabazi. The day people came to ask for water. Yabaya mas. He gave them water. Joshua Joshua bamubwiye ngo tukene yabazi. When they told him they need water. Bamwe muje kwifukurira marimo. He said go and dig the wells. So this still is that that is kind. Those are leadership signs that are different. Na twese twayobora kimwe. We cannot all lead to the same way. But we had to to follow and flow once we are we are led. Is it clear? Is it understood? That is why there are boards. And boards are to teach us about who. And we do not put people in board as if we are to announce them. To announce them. We put people in the board so that they can face us. So people as Dr. Aj, Dr. Gashumba, Dr. Muhima are such people who can tell you and then they put you online they say you have to do this you don't have to do that and when you are outside they have to defend you we need such people Abantu bari mukujya gushiraho za board bakareba abantu batazi gusoma batazi kwandika badafite cyo ba bivuga ngo urashaka abantu bazakomeza uzayobora nkinka uzayobora nyine So now people are putting to board uh, people who are not educated and only people who do not even know how to read you only need people to lead that cows and you shall continue to be a shepherd to your cows Fourth kwijira mu muhamagaro biroroshye Being ushered to the calling is easy but being faithful to it and to accomplish it is difficult the entry gate is wide because they are going to receive the responsibility according to their capability and there are those who are receiving because of the relationship it is easy but being faithful being accountable being accountable there's two secrets that make you to do it faithfully the first it is to look upon the rewards. good leaders they focus upon the reward at the beginning i fought a good fight i preserve the faith i only need the crown if people do not reward you people are quitting uh, living churches because they are not receiving payments who called you is it god or you are called by people but the pandani mana umunsi kumunsi they depend on god day by day ichanyuma last turatandukanye mushingano nabivuze i said it that uh, in responsibility that different ngiye guha abantu ngiye gutambutsa ah uh, upon the responsibilities you are going to give people who are coming there are five roles buri shingano nayivugaho 
And then every role I'm going to give a different The first role apostolic missionaries. We are going to ordain these uh, people as apostolic missionaries. Let's give a round of applause to God. Uh, Four Square Gospel Church in Rwanda. Uh, it is on the fourth stage. Whereby you can send missionaries to go and they serve. Our missionaries these missionaries if you name them to be apostles it's good if you name them missionaries it's okay but just get to know that messengers they are the people Jesus says they are not titles these people these are people who go to preach the gospel they, be, they plant churches if they don't plant a church uh, they see what is available uh, they nurture small churches and they continue them and then they revive them let me give you only one advice you are not called to sit there is no apostle who sits there is no missionary who settles they are always on movement. And many among we are going to give this responsibility. We have seen it with the have been moved. If you move, please plant the churches of Christ. Do not build your kingdoms. Do not destroy churches that are in existence. Let me emphasize on this. Instead of training pastors, they look for pastors who are trained from elsewhere. I usually tell people, even neighbors, there is no one who can steal a maid from, from the neighbor. Your neighbor, if they take your maid, if you can manage, you can even shift. Have a company. Even company. Let me give you a good testimony. I once worked in Rura. Uh, and I was in charge of regulatories. So among the people we are in charge with, uh, there is also telecommunication Ikimo, companies. Ikimo so one of the, the companies called me. They told me that we are going to multiply five times your salary. So, which means that I'm going to take all confidential information to the people that have been in charge. Of me. I would not come to the act. I would not agree with my heart. It's even not allowed. It doesn't exist either. It doesn't exist. It doesn't happen. That is why in Foursquare, if you come when you are a pastor, you have seen them that we made them to stand. They, they, sometimes they serve for five years before we. So, so that we may understand where they used to serve if they are still after them. For us not to destroy the kingdom while we are building another kingdom. Some are not going to be ordained today. Because we are still following them. We need their churches to first testify about them. Even when we receive them in the ministry, uh, we, we make them the starters instead of uh, continuing where they had reached. Because we are not building our kingdoms, we are building the kingdom of God. So if you plan churches, please be cautious with such. It is the kingdom of God. It's not about only bringing, bringing so clientele to you. It's not uh, bringing people from uh, uh, churches to others. It's rather to carry the light to the darkness. The second category we're about to ordain, these are pastors. We have pastors in, in two ways. 
Uh, pastors who are on contract and also pastors who are volunteers. That is the case. And pastors who are on contract they are, they are paid by the church they are not, they are not paid by the community. When the church receives it asks us and then we sign them a contract that they shall be paid them. Among the pastors who are going to be we spoke with them do not think about the salary. If you find like maybe you have only one pastor that we pay because that is what we can manage. Do not fight for a salary. Because before you join the pastoral team, you know. On that. the other way, the pastors you find in the ministry, they are your elders. Though you are above them, they are your seniors. Though you studied so much education, they are your seniors. Though you have a master's in theology. Respect those who sat before you. Among them. There are those who are going to be a deputy to those who have been serving. So if you are an assistant. One, support them. Do not put them in insecurity. Because, because there is nothing bad in this ministry when you serve in insecurity you are a bishop and then you know that everyone is fighting for your seat that is why people no longer have meetings that is why they bring people who cannot speak it's because they have insecurity there is one who told me, no, don't pray for other pastors. Because your church is very well organized. And those you are serving them, it's okay. If you are bringing pastors, you are bringing you found us that we are one. We have to continue to stay the same And if you are among such people, that is the child of the pastors. Please go in another place. Is it clear? The third category elders. Elders are going to be ordaining elders. They serve all the roles. They play all the roles of pastors but when they have been assigned by the pastor. But as they still uh, prepared on our church let me give you a testimony. Uh, in six months when we had begun for square I was a pastor but I was not yet ordained. When they were ordaining me they ordained me as an elder and I would uh, lead on the country level if the government would ask the leader of the I church I would go but here in the church I was being led and now uh, some, uh, some people would even ask me what happens because you don't solve issues uh, yes legally I am a leader but here locally I am also led and then on the second time I was ordained so these we are going to pray for the first time uh, some are already pastoring churches we have already uh, allowed them, assigned them to serve as pastors. But we are still following them. Maybe they may say that we are going to quit. But also may also stop them. The fourth category. They are deacons. Diakonos. Diakonos. Servant which means servant there are not people we give uh, good seats in the church these are people who are coming to serve the 
there are people who come in and then they think they are leaders you have come to be the servant because you are also the servant and let me tell you this if you see that you are not doing the diaconos please write a resignation letter do not wait for us to tell you that you are not you working because these are people who are come to, who are coming to be servants of others and then the fifth category this is for the evangelists God gives them a responsibility to go and do evangelism outside the church. Many among of those who are going to ordain, they have been doing the same. So, praying for them, ordaining, it is a sign and a confirmation that you are commissioning them. There is no uh, a decent church that receives a pastor or an evangelist when they don't have a certificate. Even though you are coming from Pentecostal church at the prayer going to another parish, they will ask you for recommendation later. So, uh, the anointing, the ordaining we are going to do, it is going to go in line with the certificates. Is it clear? Let's give a round of applause to God. Let me request them to come forward. What I was supposed to do, uh, I've finished to do it. We are going to begin with pastors. We have pastors that we are going to be ordaining today. I'm going to begin with pastors in, from Kimironho. We had a senior pastor. We had the estate and pastor Kado. Who works here day by day. We had Pastor Nathan who works as a volunteer, as myself, because we are part time pastors. We are now going to have three more pastors who will serve under my own leadership and leadership of Pastor Kado. Everyone will be responsible so, for things to do. We can't do it right here because so, of the time. Everyone among the faith of them will have their and own responsibilities. And my own will be responsible for particular things. So things may not conflict. We ask Solange Nyashimwe to come forward. Let's clap for God. The second one, let's receive Benjamin Serugo. And the spouse. Let's call Justin Rushikama to come with the spouse. Abana Bashumba Baji Kugirango Badu Sang and a pastor Kadona Pastor Nathan. Let's send Abashumba and you have a sergeant to Korana Mursengero. These are the pastors who come to support myself and Pastor Kado and elders of the church so, so as we may work together. Those who are ordained will just be uh, in front and then those supporting them will be behind. So, uh, we have people from the eastern province. Uh, Let's call upon Matie Gatungo to come forward. And the spouse. 
They have been ordained for the first time uh, five years ago. Today they are going to be ordained for the second round. They are pastors of our church in Nyakarambi in Kirehe. We have Atanaz Gasana and the spouse. Can you also come forward? They come all the way from Kayonza district in Kabare in the sector of Kabare. You may kindly also step forward. We have a Jenny Mukabutera. She is the pastor of our church in Goma. In the sector of Gashanda, they're together with the husband, and the husband will stand behind her. <laughs> it is gender equality or equity. We have to stand behind them. So, Four Square Church was initiated by a mother. Four Square Worldwide. We have uh, church, Four Square Churches in 145 countries. We have more than 8,000 uh, church, local churches. You can see there is a big calling upon mothers. We have Noel Kundimana from the Eastern Province. Let's have Noel coming forward with the spouse. She is a leader of our four square church in Ubavu. Right there, downtown in Gisenyi. We also have Rene Bigaraba. He's a shepherd of our church in Karongi. In a place called Kiziba. We have also Pastor Teopi Semaro from the north. Pastor Teopi. He is the assistant pastor of a uh, church leader in Musanze. These are the pastors we are about to ordain. Let's clap for God, to God for them.